As usual, there's a lot happening on the Lagos art scene. To start with, Beautiful Nubia and Lu and his Roots Renaissance Band will be in concert with Duro Ikujenyo and Age of Aquarius tomorrow, Friday, the 7th of November at Bogobiri House in Ikoyi. If you love folk music, you're definitely going to have a great time at this show. Also on Friday evening, A Place in the Stars, a Nigerian movie will be premiering. I saw the trailer for this movie at Tarua on Tuesday. And I was blown away. Like when when the um, director said that it took him seven years to produce this movie, I understood why. Of course, also on Friday there's TJF at Terra for live music, um, food, and more. You know, there's just the different ways to just chill on Friday evening in Lagos. Yeah. So on Saturday, there's going to be a book reading at Terra Culture. It's um, Shubashashere. The senior advocate of Nigeria will be reading from his book Possessed a Terror. Um, I've read Possessed. I don't I usually don't recommend books, but this is a book that I would recommend to anybody. It's a book about the history of Lagos and um, it's told in a way that I feel like it's never been told before. Because when I was in school, when we taught history, you know, there were all these things that were told, of course, that were backed up by evidence. And um, Shubhusha Shere comes and dispels a lot of a lot of these things, and he's got reproduced documents to back up his facts. So this is a book that I think that every Nigerian, every lover of history, every book lover should read. And the author will be reading and signing copies at Terra Culture on Saturday. So be there. Also on Saturday, uh, Power and Powers, a um, an art ex exhibition by Uche James Iran will be opening at the Menka Gallery. Uh, Power and Powers will be on from Saturday the 8th to the 22nd of November. So yeah, you've got a lot of time to, you know, go around. Uche is a really, really good photographer. Uh, so yeah. Then on Sunday, another photographer whose work I like. Adirami Adibite will be uh, opening his exhibition at the Osh Gallery this time. Adirami's exhibition is titled Power Lines, The Inside Story. Um, I think it's going to be interesting because his exhibition tells the, the Makoko Iwaya slums and people's story uh, through art. But, you know, there have been a lot of articles, photos that have come out of that place in the past couple of years. but. This is different because Adirami grew up there, you know, so it's he's got an insider's perspective. Yeah, so his exhibition will be on from Sunday the 9th till the 27th of November at the Osh Gallery in Yaba. Um, yeah, as exhibitions go, it's in the Olabi exhibition titled Asho Cape, The Woven Beauty, will be opening at Red Dog Gallery on the 16th of November. When I was growing up, my mother had all the stacks, all the stacks of Ashoke material, whether it was Gili or Equili or whatever, she just had them. And it was so fascinating, the patterns, all of that. And I remember watching uh, a woman make, you know, the, the, the patterns once, and it was such an intricate process. It was fascinating. So yeah, you should stop by the exhibition when it opens at the Red Dog Gallery. I've talked about this before, um, but I should mention it again since it's happening this Sunday. Sophie Atta's play, The Last Stand, will be on at Terra Culture this Sunday the 9th. Yeah, and um, Finding Home, the Spoken Word Theatre production, which I also spoke about last week, will be on at Terra Culture next Friday the 14th. So don't miss the shows. Don't miss the shows. They promise to be really, really interesting. Yeah. Um, the Lagos Book and Arts Festival is almost here. It opens on the 14th. It's next Friday at Freedom Park and it will be holding from the 14th to the 16th. This year, Labaf is going to be honoring Wally Shenka at 80. And so there are a lot of events. There's a rich, rich, rich line of events. And um, I've listed some of them on the site and also provided information on where you can get more. Yeah, you should come around when Labaf opens. It's always an exciting time, you know, it's like art overload every year, yeah.
And uh, yeah, there's something I forgot to talk about last week. There's a new anthology titled This Words Expose Us. Um, it's a collection of short stories written by young Nigerians, some of the best young Nigerian writers that are um, in the country at the moment. Asema Athibi, Uchi Okonko, Edwin Okolo, Wali Talabi. So yeah, the anthology is published by um, TNC, The Naked Convos. You should pick it up and read the stories. Uh, there's a post on the site that has information on where you can get it or how you can get it. So yeah, that's it. Um, check the website for more information about events and all of that. And remember to stay on the art side of life.